All right, everyone, it's Crossing Tour Wednesday. And for this week, we are back out here in Deschler, Ohio. As you can see right here, it's kind of dead right now, but we're gonna tour the main other main street crossing, which is, this is the uh, Toledo subdivision, which this crossing doesn't see as much action as like any of the other crossings here in the city, because not much goes north of here. So this crossing sees maybe, I don't know, five to some, prior on that about average of five movements a day um and we're just gonna get started here with this signal right here which is on a lincoln industries cantilever as you can see we have a 1990s model safe train gate mech right here So we have a 1990s model safe train gate mechanism. The dot number is right here and it's 155755Y. The main lights are three pairs of Western Colon Hayes uh, LEDs, 12 by 24 inch. The side lights are on a WRS light bracket. And the main lights are also on WRS light bracket. <clears throat> the bell in the signal, all the way up there is an NEG electronic bell. And we have some type of, let's get closer here. I think we have NEG LED gate lights or incandescent, one of them with a, uh, looks like half a wind guard, but still doing the job. And then the lights on the cantilever are two pairs of uh, 12 by 24 inch Western Colon Hayes incandescents, also sitting on a WRS light bracket, which you can kind of see there. And that's our first cantilever signal. And like I said, not too much action here. Like I said, about five trains a day. The only one that I know for sure comes through here is L318, both directions. And then sometimes B522 uses the Toledo sub and then just goes south. Same with B523. And this track here gets even less action. This is the Deschler Northwest Y, which uh, only gets used for like uh like grain trains and like reroutes stuff like that hasn't been used in almost a month according to the deschler uh train log been almost a month here's the uh, relay case for the crossing right here this is main street but also a uh, state route 18. and hey, we got a moment to cross we're gonna go ahead and tour the other signal which is kind of similar but not really So this signal has a Harman cantilever. And we're getting hit with backlight. Let's see. Get a better view of it. So a Harman cantilever. Still getting hit with backlight. <laughs> LOL. There's the emergency formation once again. And for this signal, we have uh, two pairs of Harman uh, incandescent lights, 12 by 24 inch. Getting hit by backlight again. Uh, and then we have a Harman light bracket right there. You're just gonna have to bear with me here just because of where the sun is. Another Harman light bracket for the side lights. And then the back lights here on the gate mast are Safetran incandescent lights, I believe. Yep, 12 by 24 inch Safetran incandescents on a Safetran light bracket. And the lights on the cantilever I think two more pairs of Harman incandescent lights on a Harman light bracket. The gate mechanism is a 2000s model safe train. And we have another NEG electronic bell up here on the gate mast. So it's actually pretty different from the other one. Here's the back of it. And looks like we have some NEG LED gate lights and the wind guard is put to the side over there. Interesting. And we might do a couple other of these uh, Toledo sub crossings. They're all kind of newer, but we might still hit them anyways. That next one right there is uh, Maple Street. And then once you go across the diamond, that next crossing there's Mulberry. And some of the old school. Uh, B and O or uh, CPL signals from the B and O days are 
right there. They're still standing strong for now. And that'll do it here from State Route 18 slash Main Street here in Deschler, Ohio on the Toledo subdivision and the Northwest Y. Thank you all for watching.